I got one of these fast brake kits. I haven't seen a YouTube video, so I'm going to make one. Only reason I got one of these kits is because you can stick them under a 15 inch rim. And I don't want to go bigger on my on my EG, so so here we go. First things first, what I do is there nor there's normally a screw right here. So you want to take that off. And if you're lucky, you can use a number three Phillips. But if you need more force, you can use one of these impact drivers. You hit the back end of it, it'll spin. But what I do is I don't use this part of it. I just use a socket part. Attach it to my impact or air tool and uh, use it that route. So you take the screw out. So the next thing I'm going to do is I rotated the knuckle so I can get to these bolts back here. There's a 12 mil bolt right there. Loosen that up. Then you're able to lift the caliper. Then you can just slide it out. So let me do that next. So all you do is slide it towards the left. And then I'm going to let it free hang because I'm going to be replacing these hoses. But if you're keeping those hoses, support it. Next thing is you got two. 17 mil bolts, loosen them, take them out. Once you take them out, this should all come out. Whoops. So, it should look like that at this point. Then you can slide the rotor out. And I already cleaned this up. I use one of these guys. Did a pretty good job. I gotta clean it up a little more, and I'll show you why. Okay, this ring goes right there, but it needs, it needs to sit against it a little more but it's kind of rusty around there so I'm going to clean it up a little more because this ring centers the the new rotor that we're we're going to use so let's do that next okay I cleaned it up and put it on I had to slightly tap it on but nothing crazy just make sure it sits pretty flush And what I did was just test fitted the rotor. Let's see if I can try to do this with the or recording and installing this thing. And I'm going to test fit it. And if it's perfect. Okay. Next step. is installing this bracket that supports the caliper so I'll do that next alright so I cleaned up the front both sides and the back because this bracket sits behind and it gets attached these bolts in the instructions it says you have to use a thread locker blue but I'm gonna use red so that's the next step okay in the instructions it says 50 foot-pounds and no tighter so torque them down and you should be good so that's what it looks like on 
And the next step is the rotor on there and then the caliper install.